Erwin Schrodinger's book called What is Life. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Okay. It's on the FFP readers uh, 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 bestsellers one hundred percent. It's it's a very short book. You you can read it in about you can read it in about two hours. It really shows how a physicist would approach this problem. Okay. He really starts thinking about how hereditary material must be something that is solid. Yeah. It must be something that can resist temperature fluctuations. And because of what we just talked about. Yes. And it must also be non repetitive. It's got to store a bunch of information, uh, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be like, this is how you do this, and this is how you do that. A recipe book is not repetitive. Yeah, right, right. Every, right? every page or every couple pages is a, different- is, different, is a different recipe for all of the different things that I need in life, mm-hmm. right? You can have multiple books. Books are repetition, but within the context of a book, yeah. there's complexity within that, yeah. that, that like object type. Exactly, yeah. So he was the first person to postulate that there's some kind of hereditary code script there's mm. some aperiodic crystal inside of biology mm-hmm. that is conferring information to the next generation mm-hmm. and this is really important because this is cited by both watson and crick who uh, are the who are the discoverers of the yeah, double helix right, right they said this was a primary motivation for seeking the genetic structure what they wanted to do with their life was find this per- aperiodic crystal 